Hello, people of the internet. My name is Preston. I'm the programmer here at Leafy Games. And I'm George, the artist. So it's been a while since our last devlog, but we're hoping to pick up the pace. We've been working on some new content, some of which is available today, and the rest available in the near future. So without any further ado, let's get started. A lot of you have been requesting a lounge activity since pretty much the start of development, and we decided now would be as great a time as any. So we've played around with some different ideas, explored some other prototypes, and ultimately decided on a game called Liar's Dice, also known as Bluff or Pirate's Dice, it goes by a ton of different names. A few of the reasons we went with this game include the rounds being quick and they don't involve a large time commitment, the number of players can fluidly change from 2 to 5, and the mechanics are fairly simple and easy to network. And of course we, we've had a lot of fun with it and we think it's pretty cool. We won't go over the specific rules we chose to have, because there's a ton of different variants. You can check out the rules we went with in the release notes or in the game before playing. In addition to this, we've also built a new ship class for the WD Corporation, the WD Annihilator. The theme for this ship was Advanced Prototype. Crews manning this ship are on the bleeding edge of WD technology. The ship is unique in its starting configuration of components and begins the game with numerous experimental ship components that may drastically change how crews normally operate. Since there are quite a handful of new components and features, We'll just cover a few of them here. For one, its reactor's output is directly tied to the overall ship system health. Its warp drive gives each and every installed program a single charge per activation. And it starts with zero credits, but 20 processed scrap. Among those starting features, it possesses two new attributes innate to the ship itself. It has proprietary shield stealing technology, that saps enemy shields when turrets damage them. It converts 20% of damage to an enemy ship's shields to your own shields immediately. In addition, it has flaky internal systems. New technology can sometimes be unreliable, and there is a chance the ship systems will be damaged upon exiting warp. Crews flying the ship should pay extra attention to their ship systems. Read the release notes to learn all the details of the new WD Annihilator. While we originally planned this update to feature endgame content related to the Colonial Union and the Wasted Wing, it's been pushed back slightly while we do some final polish patches and wait for sound effects. We spent several months building systems and tools for the Wasted Wing and future endgame content and we're super excited to start releasing all of that soon. Here's a quick preview of what to expect in Beta 21. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.